Desert foot requirement number 11. Identify local poisonous plants. And tell how to treat for exposure to them. We're deep in the woods in search of local poisonous plants. Keep your eyes open. Those wicked little buggers can pop up almost anywhere. Look out! What's this? Stand down. False alarm. It's just the Quercus alba, Latin, for the mighty white oak tree, friend of man. All too often, one confuses this common oak leaf with the shiny three-leaf clusters on an attractive vine, much like this one over here. Oh my, I believe I just made direct contact with this species, Toxicodendron diversilobum, the infamous poison oak. Houston, we have a problem. The bumps, the blisters, oh, the itching humanity. I must find treatment before consciousness is lost. I'm fading fast. Um, pardon me, clean off the poison oak oil with soap and water within 15 to 20 minutes, you'll be fine. Oh, thank you, brave stranger. You have saved me from certain misery. Poisonous plant sap can also stick to clothing, so be sure to change and wash yours as soon as possible after exposure. And calamine lotion can help relieve the itching if you do have a reaction to the plant oil. But the best solution is learning to identify and then steering clear of poison ivy, poison oak, and poison sumac. So that's tenderfoot requirement 11. Learn your local poisonous plants and have a treat for exposure to them. I'll bet you're just itching to get to work on this one. Ugh. Sorry about that. <laughs>